Hi, so we have Koyalio with us. So can you please share about your talk today, oh, what the main points are? Thank you so much for inviting me to the Discuss Agile Day. I think it's a great meetup, and uh, the keynote session with Sakit was really good and insightful. And my talk was more around my experience around uh, as a product owner and as a business, agile business transformation consultant is how you can actually pragmatically and efficiently split your user stories. And I had actually elaborated more on the techniques that one should apply to actually split the user stories. One way, of course, is a well-established um, well -established technique by Mike Cohn, which is SPIDER, S-P-I-T-R, and which actually enables the users to approach the user stories, the larger chunk of user stories, okay. either epics or features, in a more systematic manner and not get lost in a 50 plus ways of splitting the stories. But besides using the spider of Micron, which is really a great technique, the other one which we realize while in our real daily experience is that spider does help us to split stories, but then to make it really fine and hyper fine, there's one more splitting technique that we can apply, and that is your zero one many technique and that's commonly known as hyper-fine story splitting technique. And that actually enables you to even further split down the user stories so yep. they can really make it small enough, yet valuable, and yet you can deliver it in one iteration. Okay. The zero one many techniques is actually, is a very insightful way of slowly and incrementally delivering value to the customer. So you can start with the very basic, either using only one user or having, or only focusing on just one item the focus item for your specific product or solution, and then start building on the complexities, incrementally building on the complexities of it. It's a very useful tool, and this is what our talk was all about. Oh, that's great. So uh, what if we uh, talk about, so what is the key takeaway from this conference today? What that would be? I think the key takeaway would be thinking, feeling, and doing. That's one which Saki had talked about. And I'm also a customer journey mapping specialist, and we do a lot of thinking, feeling, and doing. Never really the thought came to us that how we can also apply it in our agile you know, way of working. And this really makes a lot of sense, and it really gives, helps us to see like, why it fails and how we can make it work. Yeah. And the emotion side of it is very important out here. So I think that's the, get, the biggest takeaway from this conference is the feeling, doing, and thinking in your agile way of working. Okay. Uh, any message for our viewers who are not here at the conference, so what that would be? I'll definitely, I would I request all our Agile practitioners to definitely come up to these meetups. This, this is a meetup where you can share your real-time experiences, learn from other mistakes, learn new techniques, and even when you know everything, you can actually enhance your knowledge and also improve the application of it. At the same time, you can also help others improve themselves. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us thank today, so and much. thank you for knowledge. Thanks.